Pastor Jeremy here uh, for another high school devotional thought for you guys. Uh, all month long, we've been going through the book of James. So if you haven't caught any of them, they're all on YouTube. Please go to our YouTube page. Uh, each one's only about five to ten minutes long. Uh, take a few moments, walk through those videos. Um, it's a great way to stay connected to God's Word. Like I said at the very beginning, James is one of my favorite books in the whole Bible because it was written by the brother of Jesus. And so through James, uh, each week we had all these different challenges that James approached. And like I said at each video, uh, there's so much more we could have covered that even in chapter one alone, there's like five different lessons we can learn just from the first chapter of James. And so today what I want you to do is think through what has been the most challenging thing for you about reading James? Maybe it, it was all the way in verse 2 that it says uh, that we should consider pure joy when we face trials. Maybe it was that we should not just know what the Bible says, but we should actually live out what the Bible says. Maybe it was about judging others. Maybe it was about how our words ha have consequences and that we should try to watch what we say and what we put into our life. Maybe it's about how we shouldn't judge others. There's so much that we can learn. Uh, and so what I want you to do is take a few moments and quickly just scan through James. It's only five chapters long. It shouldn't take you more than like 10 minutes to read this. Just read through it and what really stood out to you. So hit pause, take those 10 minutes, read through James then. out to you something really jumped out to you as you read through it uh, and what I want you to do is take that verse or take that section of verses and write it down somewhere whether it's maybe on a mirror put it on a postcard put it near your bed put that verse somewhere that you can read it every single day this week and maybe some of you what I want to challenge you even further is post that on social media Post that verse somewhere and say, this is something I want to work on. Because see, we can't do life alone. That we can't do this by ourselves. That in this quarantine, sometimes you feel so isolated. But know that there is a community around you that wants to encourage you through these things. So find that verse, post it somewhere, post it online. Let people know that this is something you want to work on in your life. Because see, all of us are on this journey. All of us are trying to strive further in our walk with Christ. And we need each other to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. We do hope that you're staying safe. We have a few things coming up over this next week that we want to make sure that you're aware of. So make sure that you're following us on social media. Make sure your parents are getting those weekly emails. Um, and if you're not, let us know. We will love to connect you with those things. Until then, we hope to see you guys all soon.